All right, you did it. Pro 31 challenge is over. A proverb a day for 31 days for the month of May. Kanye West is gonna have me in a studio by next week, I'm telling you. It's just the way it goes sometimes. All right, so here's the really cool thing about this Pro 31 challenge. If you started with us on May 1st and you finished today, May 31st, congratulations. You have learned 915 new facts about wisdom. How do I know that? Because there are 915 verses in the book of Proverbs. So you're probably asking yourself by now, I don't remember all those verses. That's okay. I'll brush you up on a few. Proverbs 3.13, blessed is the one who finds wisdom and the one who gains understanding. Proverbs 10.9, he who walks with integrity walks securely, but he who walks with crooked paths will be found out. Proverbs 12.1, whoever loves discipline loves knowledge, but he who hates reproof is stupid. Proverbs 18.10, the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run into it and it is safe. And Proverbs 31.17, she dresses herself with strength and it makes her arms strong. All right, look, I'll admit it. There's 915 things about wisdom in the book of Proverbs and I can't remember them all at once. It's gonna take quite a long time, probably a lifetime for me to remember all these things. But here's one thing you can do for when you're struggling with questions about life and you're asking and seeking wisdom. Here's a question that you can use at any time to help you remember these verses. Are you ready for it? Here it is. What is the wise thing to do? You might not believe me that that question will help every part of your life, but let me just show you what happens when you ask that question about any situation. I'm gonna to go to Proverbs chapter two, I'm gonna start at verse one. It says, my son, if you receive my words and treasure up my commandments with you, making your ear attentive to wisdom and inclining your heart to understanding, yes, if you call out for insight and raise your voice for understanding, if you seek it like silver and search for it as hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. He stores up sound wisdom for the upright. He is a shield to those who walk in integrity, guarding the paths of justice and watching over the way of his saints. Look, if you want wisdom, seek it. Ask that question. What is the wise thing to do? doesn't matter what situation you're debating on. If it's a friend that's been talking behind your back, if it's a situation that's kind of an external thing, it's out of your control. If it's something internal, something that you're feeling, whether it's an unrighteous thing or it is a righteous thing, ask this question about whatever situation you have. What is the wise thing to do? So this Pro 31 challenge is over. Just because it's over though, doesn't mean you can't start somewhere new. It's not just the book of Proverbs that's full of wisdom. It's from beginning to end in this Bible. Every book has a piece of wisdom for you. Genesis all the way to Revelation. You don't know where to start? Pick somewhere, just start anywhere. And I guarantee God's word will speak directly to you. You just have to let it. Here's the truth. We all look for answers. We go to YouTube, we go to Google, all those places, and they have answers for us but they fill us with a lot of head knowledge. God's word is meant for the heart. That's what penetrates the most. You can fill your head with as much knowledge as possible from the internet, from people even, but God's word is the only thing that penetrates the heart. So what I'm asking you to do is for the next month of June, just pick somewhere new to start. Anytime you have a question about what to do, ask yourself the question, what is the wise thing to do? And if you don't get anything out of it, that's okay because there's a whole book of God's words to you that will help you find the answer to your question. Just because you know the wise thing to do doesn't mean that you're done on your journey either. You need to keep learning. You need to keep opening this word. You need to keep praying this word. You need to keep speaking this word. And the more you do it, the more you will start to understand the Father's heart. The more you'll start to understand how the Holy Spirit works in us and through us. And the more you'll start to understand what Jesus really did for you and it will change your life. So stop letting wisdom and knowledge just be a head thing. Let it become a heart thing and see what wisdom does in your life. God bless.